Hello there, everyone. My name's Matt, and today I'll be taking you through some of the different functions and features in the new Verify Node.js SDK. Now, just to start us off, I've gone ahead and made a demo project. I've initialized NPM, and I've included two different files, a main.js file and a picture, uh, invoice.png. This is just a generic invoice, which we'll be using to demonstrate some of the functions. So just to start us off, we're gonna to want to run npm i at verify slash verify SDK. This will install verify into your node modules. Now we're gonna to want to include it in our project. So we're gonna make a new constant client or set, set that equal to require at verify slash verify SDK. Now we have a bit of setup to get to before we begin. Verify takes in four different variables. It takes in a, let's see, client ID. A client secret. A username. And an API key. I'm just gonna go ahead and set these equal to empty strings. And now we have our actual client variable. We'll just call this my client. That's gonna be equal to a new client object with of course the four variables. Now, in order to get Verify working, we're going to need these four parameters, and you can find them from the Verify website. Now, you can either sign in if you have an account ready, or you can start a free trial. I have one, so I'll just sign in. Now that we've signed in, you'll see we're in this dashboard section. The stuff we need is under settings in keys. So let's just go ahead and we can go and copy the information here into our project. I'm gonna go do that real quick and I'll get back to you when I'm done. All right, I've gone ahead and finished copying the information into this setup block here, and I've also collapsed it. So now we're ready to begin testing some of these functions. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a variable to take in the response. We'll just call this response. It's equal to an async function going to have a wait and it's going to have my client dot process document. This is the first function we'll be testing. It takes in a file path to an image of an invoice or receipt. In this case, our invoice.png. Now we're going to call the response and afterwards we're going to call console.log. This will, of course, output anything we get back uh, from this request into the console. So let me just clear it real quick and we can test it out. Node main.js. I realize I forgot to save the file, but now we're ready to run it. And there we go. You can see that we got back this big JSON object. This contains all of the information that was extracted from this file, uh, things like the billing address, uh, stuff like the thumbnail URL itself, the invoice number, uh, description of each item listed on the invoice. And of course, we have things like the subtotal and tax and really everything else. Now, in addition to uploading invoices from a file, you can also upload invoices or receipts through a URL using process document URL. And of course, instead of a file path, we're just going to paste in the address of a publicly available image of a receipt. So let's go ahead and run this. And there we go. 
Now, once you've actually uploaded these files, if you go back to your verify inbox, you'll see that they're actually available here. So you can see here are the two documents. One we uploaded from a file, the other we uploaded from a URL. And you can, of course, view it, modify it, and also look at the actual JSON object here. All right, so now that we've actually uploaded documents, let's see how we get that information back. Well, we can do that through two different ways. We can either call the function get documents. This takes in no arguments and just returns the JSON data of every single document you've uploaded. Let's demonstrate that now. And there we go. You can see we've actually received two different JSON objects of all the invoices we've uploaded. And the second function we can use is get document. This one is a bit different. You can see it takes in a document ID and you can find that by going to the ID section of the JSON. So if we go ahead and copy this, paste it in and run it, we've gone back the information of this one document. Now, the final thing I want to cover is updating and deleting documents. We can do that through two different functions. We're going to first try dot update document. And this, of course, takes a document ID of the document you want to modify. We'll use the same one from before. And also a JSON object of all the fields you want to update. So in this case, why don't we try updating the date? Well, we do that by adding in this JSON object, and we'll type in date, and we'll set it equal to, let's say, 2015-01-01 at 12 AM sharp. Let's run this. And there we go. Let's see, you can see that the date on the document has actually been changed to 2015. The next thing we'll be covering is deleting documents. So if we just look at our dashboard here, our inbox, we'll see we have the document we updated and why don't we delete this document? Well, we're going to need the document ID. So we're going to go to its JSON. We're going to copy it. And now, back in our main.js file, we're going to call dot delete document. This, of course, takes in the document ID you want to delete. And now we can run this. Now, this one doesn't actually output anything. But if we go back here and refresh our inbox, you can see the document's been deleted. This was just a little demonstration of the various functions and features in the Verify SDK for Node.js. We hope you enjoy working with it. Thank you.